Located in the middle of the downtown area, there are always people crowding around Fengjia University. Whether they are students for school or tourists visiting the night market. But when it comes to the name of Fengjia, maybe only seldom will know it. I have heard that many students say that Fengjia University is named after the Fengjia Night Market. But when you ask further, how did the Fengjia at the Fengjia Night Market come from? The students always replied with a little hesitation. Should it be a person's name? It seems to be an anti-Japanese hero. The fact is that Fengjia University was built about 50 years ago, and it took a while for Fengjia Night Market to appear. And Fengjia Night Market was originally called Wenhua Rou Night Market. Most night markets in Taichung are named after road names. Later, due to the expansion of Fengjia University and the gathering of people, it was renamed Fengjia Business District. To Fengjia Memorial Hall, we pass by every day. And we have to consider this. Chou Fengjia's word of resistance against Japan was not only a slogan. He even took practical actions to fight against Japan and protect Taiwan. On the road to independence, he has the courage to take the role of independence. And his courage to try to break through is indeed different from ordinary people. Chou Fengjia Memorial Hall used a large number of wind-toned indirect lighting to create a sense of floating in a visual space and is decorated with multi-layered wood colors. It surrounds the entrance and extends to embrace the entire space, creating a sense of expansion and softness that reflect each other with the white wall. In the memorial part of the memorial hall, the color-hopping elements are used to make the ceiling contrast sharply with the overall layout and bring out the subjectivity of the statue of Mr. Chou Feng Jia and using sufficient natural light to prevent the space to be too serious and inconsistent. And the design can also retain the historical value of Chou Feng Jia Memorial Hall. We are curious about how students think about this memorial hall, so that we conduct an interview in front of the building. First of all, I like to know which building or which place do you like the most in Fengjia, and why? On to the second question. I'd like to know how much do you know about the naming of Fengjia University? At last, what do you think about the building's design and whether to be improved? And obviously, the first interview was a little bit extreme than we thought, so we interviewed the second passerby. So first of all, I'd like to know which building or which place do you like the most in Fengjia campus, and why? Uh, 
And on to the second question. I'd like to know how much do you know about the naming of Fengjia University? Uh, no knowledge. 就在冯家夜市，然后可能是某个叫冯家人创的吧。<笑> and the last question is, what do you think about the building's design and whether to be improved? 我觉得可以加一些咖啡厅或者是读书区，这样子可能比较多人会使用它。Although both naming and building the building are meaningful, but lack of promotion and historical education may be the reason of it withering away. The Chowfengjia Memorial Hall is an indispensable building standing in the middle of the campus. But most students did not discover its beauty and meaning. Has the memorial hall been ignored and forgotten? We will never know.